I win TV. See what others can't. Welcome to the September 30th, 2017 edition of the weekly investment news show. I win TV, where you win, because we use algorithms, not people, to select stocks and manage risks in the markets. We're the robots you can trust. Why watch the talking heads on TV, who might have a hidden agenda when algorithms have been shown to make better decisions? Get those old voices out of your head and start watching iWin TV to get better results from your investments. Today we're going to cover stock selection followed by risk in the equity markets and interest rate risk. Then we'll have a brief discussion of the current value of Bitcoin. Past performance is not an indication of future performance. Please pause this video and read the disclaimer. As you can see there are currently 50 stocks in the portfolio with 74% winners and 26% losers. The average winning return is 53% with the best stock AMD, returning 554% since it came into the portfolio about a year and a half ago. Followed closely by Nvidia which is up 539% since it came into the portfolio about two years ago. The average loss is 4% with the worst stock. Gold miner KGC losing 12% since it was purchased about a month ago. It was quiet again this week with no buys or sells to report. So now for a read of the equity markets. The risk in the equity markets improved again this week. The risk level of the Dow Jones Industrial Average remained at very low risk while the S&P 500 improved to low risk. The risk level of the Nasdaq 100 improved to moderate risk and the Russell 2000 remained at moderate risk. And now let's talk about the current interest rate environment. Our measurement of interest rate risk transitioned to higher risk this week. This indicates a risk of increasing rates. We will keep an eye on this evolving situation for you. Several weeks ago, we published a special edition of iWin TV, where we discussed cryptocurrencies. Are they overvalued? Since that time China has moved to regulate them and there are rumors Amazon might start accepting Bitcoin for purchases. Our measurement of the price of Bitcoin to the underlying US dollar transaction value shows the price of Bitcoin continues to track the underlying transaction values. This indicates a healthy relationship between the price of Bitcoin and the US dollar value of goods and services being transacted using Bitcoin. As a result, we don't believe Bitcoin is overvalued. Until next week, we'll be watching the markets for you. To bring you the latest opportunities and risks. Please subscribe to get better results from your investments. Thank you for watching. I win TV. See what others can't.